So if you're talking to whiskey people or watching whiskey YouTube videos and the subject of Macallan comes up, you'll often hear some variation of the idea that Macallan is good, but it's just overpriced. And I was recently looking at some bottles in the shop, doing some research for another video, and noticed that the Macallan 12 year, the double cast, the one in the navy blue box, the one we know really well, is now able to command a price in excess of $80. That is a lot of money to pay for that whiskey. So today I'm gonna to share a list of five Macallan alternatives that cost less than that bottle starting now. My whiskey journey has taken me to Scotland and back. I've explored whiskey education, tastings, and distilleries from Isla to Speyside. And now my journey continues here with you on Whiskey Whereabouts. Now let's start by talking about the whiskey this is the Macallan 12 year, the double cask, not the sherry wood, the one in the black box. That one's even more expensive. It's not the triple cask in the light blue box. We're talking about the double cask. And what we're talking about is a 43% whiskey that is chill filtered. There is no color added, so good job Macallan. It's a mix of sherry seasoned American and European oak cask. The other thing to say about this whiskey is that it's good. As far as 43% sherry whiskeys go, there is something about Macallan, and that something has to do with their stills. And the thing, if you like it, that you're probably responding to is a sense of richness to the spirit. A lot of people describe it as having a sort of leathery quality in a good way. They're just squat, short, stills. And very quickly, the taller the stills, the lighter the spirit, the shorter the stills, generally the heavier the spirit. With stills shaped like the ones at Macallan, you're going to have heavier spirit, you're going to have more of those sulfuric compounds at play in the flavor of the resulting spirit. Macallan is able to balance these elements. When people talk about Macallan alternatives, uh, there's one sort of traditional common alternatives. We'll call these honorable mentions. They're not gonna be on the list, but let's let's talk about these and get these out of the way. The first of these is Glendronic 12 year. Glendronic 12 year is a 43% whiskey, chill filtered, but no color added. Sherry matured. We've got a lot of overlap here and you can see why this is an often cited alternative, but if it's similar but not quite, then why am I gonna switch off the Macallan? Well, the reason is that the Glendronic costs $60. And that's a big difference for whiskeys with a lot of overlapping profiles. The other whiskey you can think of as kind of an alternative, even though it's not fully sherry matured, is more like 12 year, 43% chill filtered. This one even has color added. It is bourbon and sherry matured. They have a complicated and unique uh, still set up and they use worm tubs, which we don't need to get into the weeds, but this is another tool in the setup instead of condensers, very traditional method that increases some of that sulfur and Mortlock is, is a very uh, sort of meaty, heavy spirit. And so if that is the thing that you like about the Macallan 12 year, then that is a whiskey that may be a nice alternative. And again, it's about a 60, 62 dollar bottle of whiskey. So you see what the problem is these comparisons suggest that the Macallan is probably 15 to 20 dollars overpriced. So when I prepared my list, I tried to think of some whiskeys with some overlap um, that were potential alternatives or um, opportunities to sort of branch out off of the Macallan profile that could be bought for less than the value of the Macallan 12 years. So there's no peated whiskeys on this list. Um, it's nothing that is gonna be um, that far afield in terms of the profile being that much different than the Macallan 12 year. So I'm gonna start my list at number five, Tamdu 12 year. This is another 43% whiskey. This one's non-chill filtered though, no color added. This is 100% sherry matured whiskey. If you are responding to the elements in the Macallan 12 that come from the sherry maturation, brown sugar element, dried fruit elements, orange, orange peel elements, that is the sherry talking. And the Tamdu is sort of the entry level 12 year sherry whiskey uh, to beat right now, probably. It's not as cheap as the whiskeys that we've already talked about in the honorable mentions category. The Tamdu 12 year is probably gonna get between 75 and 80 dollars it's close to the price of the macallan the next whiskey on this list 
It's gonna save us a little money though. And it's number four, the Bunnehaven 12 year. Now this is an Isla whiskey, but Bunnehaven by default is non-peated. So this is a non-peated whiskey from Isla. It is 46.3% non-chill filtered, no color added. This is bourbon and sherry matured. So in addition to being at that crucial 46% line. This is a whiskey that brings in some exotic elements being that it's from Isla. There is a talk of a salty, a maritime quality that the Bunnehaven has. Some people talk about little just ghost traces of peat flavor in the Bunnehaven. It's a non-peated whiskey. It is a pretty sturdy whiskey as far as 12 years go for a price at these days if you can still buy this at for $60, grab it. That is, at this point, a really good price. I see it generally between 65 and 70, but it's still um, more whiskey for 10 plus dollars less, probably, than the Macallan 12 year. As we go to the next whiskey on this list, into the top three, the Abelauer Cask Anna. This is a 48% whiskey. It's non-chill filtered, it's natural colored. It's from Speyside, 100% sherry matured. There's one thing I haven't mentioned, and it is a number because this is a non-age statement whiskey. And the rest of this profile suggests that this is a pretty serious, decent whiskey, but so does this whiskey's big brother, the well-known Abelauer Abenad. Uh, we've talked about that whiskey on this channel before. It is a cask strength, non-age statement, sherry matured whiskey. This one is its little brother. It's lighter, 48%. They're non-age statement. We don't know how old the whiskey going into these different battings is relative to each other, but Abelauer knows what they're doing with these uh, higher ABV, Sherry matured, non-age statement whiskeys. This one is not on Abenad's level. Abenad costs more than $100. It's in excess of the McAllen 12 year that we're talking about, but this is a pretty serious step up to the 48% mark with that really rich sherry flavoring in comparison to the McAllen. What's it gonna cost? Over $70, you're probably saving less than 10 bucks on this whiskey as compared to the Macallan, but it can be bought for less. So next, number two, we're gonna talk about another space side distillery. Glen Allocky, and the whiskey is the 12 year. This is a 46% non-chill filter, no color added 12 year whiskey. This is a model entry level whiskey. This is what we would wish that the Macallans and the other big distilleries would present their age statement whiskeys like. Slightly more exotic cask elements. So we've got bourbon, we've got both Oloroso and Pedro Jimenez, PX Sherry, and Virgin Oak in the uh, vatting for this whiskey. They are a pretty serious whiskey distillery making quality whiskeys in their core range. And their 12 year is likely to be bought for less than $75. So you're probably going to be coming in at a savings of probably about five dollars or so. To me there is no comparison between these two whiskeys and the fact that the superior whiskey comes in at five dollars cheaper is kind of the reason that we're doing this video. Number one on the list I'm gonna throw a curveball. Number one I'm gonna recommend a, another whiskey from Isla and it is the Brook Lottie Isla Barley. It's gonna be the 2011. This is a serious whiskey but it's not a sherry matured whiskey. It has a more exotic cast configuration, but it's a 50% ABV whiskey, and it has bourbon casks, it has already salt, wine casks, this is French fortified wine, it has Sautern casks, which is a sweet Bordeaux wine, in the vatting, and it is non-chill filtered, no color added. It's 70, $72 for the 2011. The, the 2012 has a different, uh, slightly different profile. It's a little bit more expensive, but that one should also be bought within the $80 that you would pay for the Macallan 12 year. The fact that you can get a whiskey of this quality for less than you're gonna pay for the Macallan 12 year uh, is the reason that I'm gonna put it on the list. I'm gonna put it top of the list because it is the best whiskey on this list. And it's a nice sort of opportunity to branch off of the same sherry 
profile. So that's my list, and if you had experience having pivoted off of McAllen, either you got priced out or you just sort of followed your path onto something else, um, tell us what your transitional bottles off of McAllen were. Uh, put them in the comments. We can all compare notes. In the meantime, I'd really appreciate it if you enjoyed this video, if you'd subscribe to this button over here. You won't miss any of the future videos coming down on the channel. We're coming up on 500 subscribers. And to celebrate that little milestone, when we get there, I am going to open and do a tasting on the channel with a distillery exclusive bottle that I personally brought back from Scotland. I'm gonna announce the bottle as we get closer. See you then.